Hello, I'm Antrilitim, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, Early Access, where we've managed to get ourselves imprisoned because we got our collar taken off and immediately talked to a guard, and the guard was like, yeah, that's not on. So, Eddie the Rat. Oh, I. Oh, you. Oh, I. Well, you've the pointy lucky doer. Um, that's right. Oh, good. That's for you, then. Bye-bye. Flea scratcher, my bob. Can you tell me anything about this place? This place? Well, um, the fleas seem very happy at least. Well, okay, I've got I've got lockpicks, right? Because you gave me lockpicks because you got sent to me with lockpicks. That's that's cool. Locked. Aha, but I have lockpicks. We got this. I need to avoid any wandering eyes. Okay. I'm also naked. With no weapons. Evidence chest. Tiny pearl. And there we go. Actually, tick all. Right. Helmet. Leather boots. Gloves. Amulet. Wand of air. Wand of earth. Or other way around. Um, simple armor. I'm not wearing any trousers. Surely that I've got some, like... There we go. Prisoner's pants. Okay. Is there a belt? I don't think I had a belt. Okay, we're good. And my hair is gone. Why is my hair gone? Is it one of my... Oh, is it the hat? It's the hat! Oh, maybe I will let it show then. It's a bug, I guess, because it shows in my inventory. Who are you? You get out of here? Where are the guards? Guards, help! Ooh. I'm an intelligence reason, because my intelligence has gone up. It's just you stay quiet. If the magistrates come, you'll both be in terrible trouble. Yeah! Alright. I... I just... They do terrible things here. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again, they'll do to what they did to him. Tell the guards are dead. They aren't. How did you escape? Shh! You can't escape. Do you know what's outside the fort? I tried to leave. I heard of a shelter in the Hollow Marsh, a place where sorcerers could go. The dead had their hands on me in five minutes. Shredding, tearing, I came limping back and now, now, now. Not seen, heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him. Seekers, something about God woken. He didn't know anything, but they didn't care. I heard his screams. I heard something eating him from the inside. No, no, no. It can't happen to me. It can't. I can't. I can't. I'll leave a be. Wait, what are you going to do? I'm not going to remain here. I'm going to leave the fort or die trying. Poor thing, poor fool. Hope this isn't an easy death then. Decapitation, yes. I wish that for you. Take care, take care. Okay, interesting. Um, anyone else around here? No? Okay. The other skin is pale as a corpse, but his face contorts in inscrutable emotion. His eyes lock onto you. It's you! I'm going to look at him more closely. He spasms suddenly. Ugh, they're eating holes in my mind. They're making tunnels. This is how she makes them. This is how she does it. But you! It really is you. Really you. A seeker always knows. Who do you think I am? You? Why? You're everything. You need to go. Dallas... After she took it from me, she did something to my head. I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. What did Dallas take from you? The thing. It was It was a thing I had. Very valuable. Very worthwhile. Oh, I forget. I forget just now. They ate through the right out of my mind. Um. Place my hand on his cheek, despite the fact I can't get through the door. 
and I will bid you farewell. Bye bye, love. Tell them I say hello when you make it out. They'll be looking for me. Tell them. Okay, um. Uh oh. Maybe there's another way out. But at the same time, I could kill the Houndmaster. Let's try and kill the Houndmaster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's two of them. I did not notice the second one. Flea combat. Yep. Oh. I flee to the beach. I'll be honest. That was not intended. Where are you? Um. Come out here. We're not going to get captured again. Let's group up. We got this. Fleeing was definitely the right choice there, though. Our number two to one. And I don't have anyone close combat here with me. The Red Prince. Let's take a quick detour to speak to the Red Prince. Never seen lizards such as this. Did he come with the intention of putting him in the seat? No, let's not try that. I'm going to greet you with a pretty phase. You're pleased to make his acquaintance. I'd be pleased to make my acquaintance too, for I've yet to meet the thornless damsel island worth of your honour. Are you worth the honour? It's rather fancy I'll find the answer meandering towards a two-letter negative. It's the first time I've met a red lizard. That's because I'm the only one. They call me the Red Prince, the spouse of the sun. They say that when I was born, the sun didn't set for seven days, so enamored was she with little red me. Be that as it may, I fancy I was very lucky to be born a prince. It made them celebrate my uniqueness. Had I been common born, they might have drowned me in a well. You have a fancy companionship? No. Perhaps it's your birthright you're contemplating, a matter of life and death it seems. Not quite, no. No one does not ponder what one takes for granted. Life and death, though. Life and death. I don't know why I'll tell you this, but that this precise is to find a moment in time and quite beyond the vanities that would otherwise impede me. I find my mind wandering along the warlike frontier of suicide, you see. To scale it or not to scale it. That is my conundrum. It is regrettable that the circumstances have brought him so low. Regrettable indeed. The word smacks of pity. I seek no such thing. Circumstances can't be helped, but no matter. I'm still a prince and I still have my honor. I disagree. Circumstances can always be helped. Why don't you join me? I intend to escape. Escape? I had not considered this option. Being neither avian nor amphibian in nature. This prospect would please me, I admit. My alternative might be rather dull, but tell me, where would I cast in my lot of you? Humans make for good house slaves, not comrades in arms. Hmm... I'll make it back home or die trying. If you stick me, you'll have that chance too. Pretty words, but you seem to be the company of your fair share of followers already. I don't like the look of them. Get rid of the smelliest one first. Okay, so I have to get rid of someone. The thing is, I don't like having a villain in my party. So we'll have to see. I do fancy getting him to join me though, because he's got like a shield and stuff. Like, the problem is I really should get rid of Lossie, right? Because she is uh, an Inquisitor. Same sort of thing as me. I mean, admittedly, there isn't any class system, so I could just reclass her and just train her up to something else. But I like my archer. I like her. She's also friendly, and she's got weird people inside her brain. Um, and he is useful, but at the same time... Not a massive fan of him. Right, how do I let someone disband the party or something? Mm -hmm. 
How do I get rid of the party? Journal? Hmm. There's got to be a way. Right clicking on him doesn't work. Maybe right clicking on him in game? Talk. Coming soon, party dialogues. I've footed you and without you. Fair enough, if you change your mind, I'll be around. Yes! Right. Let's go grab the Red Prince. Admittedly, I've got my supply of lockpicks has now been taken because, um, I gave them to him. Oh well. It happens. Um. Let's go. There we go. And you can level up. Noble Red Prince Scholar, Male Lizard. And you use a sword and shield. Okay. Right, let's up your strength. To Ooh, how high can we get it? Let's go 17. Combat abilities. We'll also put a point in magic armor. And... No point into warfare. Over here, point in leadership, and then, ooh. Ooh, what do we want? When your maximum vitality hot gives you critical damage and more accuracy. Picture of health. Vitality of every point in warfare, yes. Because we're actually going to have a lot of warfare on you. Right, let's go do this. They might get annoyed at the fact I still don't have my collar on, though. Maybe we should sneak around or something. Is there even a way to sneak around? Yeah, we might be a, a little bit of loss here. We're going to have to go through the front gate. And if we go through the front gate, they'll be like, Why haven't you got your collar on? They'll be like, um... <laughs> reasons? I'm not an animal. I refuse to be yoked like one. I could draw my weapon or go quietly. Hmm. You know what? Are oh, you level four? I'm going to draw my weapon. So you'd rather die here and now than be cured, would you? Fine by me. Water. Right, let's get up here to get ourselves a height bonus. That's fine. Oh. Right, and then... I promise it might electrify you guys. I don't want to risk that. Right, you. Move up here. Did anyone get like particularly badly injured? Yeah, no, right, okay. Let's do this. Freeze you. And then encourage. Alright, let's take our free move. Poison arrow. What level are you? Level four as well.
the poison there, so she comes forwards. And then ricochet shot. Right. What have we got here? Bottled Inferno. Dragon's Breath. Fortify. Battle Stomp. Knocking down enemies in front of you. Crippling blood Bow. And just does damage. Okay. Now the thing is, if I stay around here, probably going to be electrified. At the same time... Don't really mind all that much. No, we've got to remove your physical arm before we can do anything. Actually, it is magic, isn't it? Let's fortify to begin with. And then battle stomp. Oh, it destroyed the... Oh. Whoa! Ow! Stop hurting my lizard! Okay, that's it. I really want to throw you up and... Yeah, let's do it. Throw you up and drop you. Drop you over there on the ice. Ah, uh, and if I knew about that relocate earlier, I could have more cleverly done my turn, but oh well. Right. We'll do a heal. No, I don't want to do the rain. And then I think we'll just call your turn. You, first aid, no. Flash sacrifice, no. Ah, oh, come on, you gotta be close to death. Right, one down. Ow. We aren't too badly off, though. Alright, just keep throwing spells. We got this. And then one more. Oh, you're out of points. Okay. Um... And just hit. Hit with the sword. Uh-oh. They've got reinforcements. They've got reinforcements. Wait. The source of prisoners are helping them? Why are the source of prisoners helping them? Okay. Stunned. And again. And then freeze you. Oh, wow. You broke really easily. And then I guess we just throw some spells at Kana as well. I don't particularly like mind about those ones because they were kind of evil people. Like they kind of work for Griff, so you know, whatever. At the same time though, do I have to fight everyone in the entire place now? Oh God's sake. I'll take the healing potion and the gold. Knockdown arrow. Oh, whoops, I didn't actually change it went to. Um, and we also need to do like a bit of he healing. 
That was on the wrong person, wasn't it? Knockdown arrow. Okay. Where is your color? <gasps> yeah, I, we don't have a collar anymore. Do you happen to have a spade? No, you don't. <sighs> yes, we got rid of our collar. We didn't like it. Frankly, it clashed with our clothes. Also, we need to heal. Hi, Jeff. Have you got a shovel? No. You? Nope. I'm finding a sign of it. Maybe you should start expecting the worst. Oh, okay. Um, gasp. Gasp indeed. Hey, Garwin. Garwin. What do you got? Blinding Radiance. Ooh. Enemies around you become blinded. That's quite cool. What's this? Favorable wind. You and your allies move faster. Shocking touch. Only costs one action point to use. Not bad. I will have it. After discovering Manga Corpse for a certain Magilla, I'm not so sure. And it says it'd be easy, in order to be no risks. I do promise that if we succeed, we'll walk free. Uh, my companions think about... Sorry, mate. Learn skill. Oh yeah, shocking touch. I have to get into combat to use that, but... You know, whatever. Still, where do I hell do I find a spade in this place? Hildy, no, we already asked Hildy. Hmm. This is a question for next episode. Maybe we'll have to break into the prison area. Oh god! Wait, what? What is going on? Why are we fighting the dog? Why are we fighting the dog? Oh, because it works for the Majesties. Okay. Shocking touch. That is what you get, doggy. I'm also going to, like, drain your blood. Thank you. And then I'm going to suck the blood from the ground. Just, like, suck my blood back into me so that I can use it. Um, attack. Attack. Uh, just attack, quite frankly. And again. And again. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, fortify then. Patrolman Kraus. <gasps> no! Ow! That hurt. We need to word Patrolman Kraus. However... Oh, actually, can we... No. Okay, this dog needs to go down. Right. Dog down. Then... Right. And the place is now covered in oil. So if we want, we should be able to make it, like, nice and slippery. 
or fiery. I like fiery. And we actually have someone who can deliver fire. Oh, this is actually going to end up quite nice. Um, can I use my free movement to get up to here? High ground advantage. Oh, yeah. All right, do it. Again. And again. Now. Fire. Dragon's Blaze. Lovely. Um, and turn. Category retreat. Ah. Poison arrow. Hmm. Well, teleport time. You're out of sight. Okay. Well, we need to move closer then. Just one point closer. And then, too far. Okay, well, let's move another one closer. Oh, that was too closer. Warm of removed by burning, I approve. And then I can't do anything, so I guess I'll just encourage. Right. Can you attack from there? No. Can you attack from there? No. Okay. Do it. And once more. You're asking for it now. Oh, God. What is happening here? Right, well, let's use Shocking Touch on him then. At least his magic armor is now down. How many allies do you have around? Way too many. Okay, I'm thinking that we should make this slippery so that you can't really get us very easily. Slippery time. There we go. And then, oh god, I can't even use encourage. I guess I need to heal. Ow. Ow. You didn't fall over, that was bad. Wildfire, bad. Oh god. We should try and retreat. We should definitely try and retreat. Hi. Okay, can we retreat? Yes. Okay, too close to enemies. Yes. Flee from combat. Right. Where are we? Here. Flee. Okay, okay, you've had your point. That's a lot of attacks. Come on, stop it. Right. I need to move before I can flee.
and then flee. Oh, okay. Well, I've been Andrew Listening. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Looks like we're going to have to fight everybody in there. Hopefully not surrounded, though. If we weren't surrounded there, I'd be happy. But it was after a fight where we were damaged and then surrounded. And I was a bit like, that's not, that's not exactly great for us. So, uh, hopefully, we'll manage our way out next time. But until then, if you've liked, you know what to do. And, of course, until then, stay shiny.